Hello everybody, Andy Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to answer a question that I've been asked quite often and that is, which are your favorite holsters? What do you use when you carry concealed? It's not a straight up answer because it really depends what I'm carrying and I have a purpose for each of the holsters that I own. Like many of you, or most of you, by now I have boxes of holsters that don't work, I don't use, they didn't turn out to be what I expected. So I've narrowed it down to five, and these are the five that work for me. There are many, many good quality, just really good holsters out there. These are the ones that I've found and that have worked for me. Some of the holsters in front of you right now I've purchased, and some have been sent to me for review and evaluation. I will let you know which one is which, and for full disclosure, I want to be very open about that. Also, when the holster was sent to me for evaluation, it was the understand with the understanding that I was able to say whatever I felt, and good or bad, I was going to give you my honest opinion, and that's what they're that's what you're going to get. And if they don't like it, they don't have to do business with me. So let me put them aside, and in no particular order, we're going to start with this. And this is the new from Harry's holster. This is the Singleton holster. And this one, I wrote it down, it is either for a Glock 45 or a Glock 19X. And really any mid-size Glock, compact size Glock, it'll fit in here fine. It is his new design and it is very adjustable. The clips are tremendously strong. I mean, these are metal clips and they are very strong. And you can get it with the claw or without the claw for appendix carry. And also you can get it with the pad for appendix carry. And for those of you that don't know, this is very helpful, not only for comfort, but when you're carrying the pistol like that in the appendix position, it helps push it into your body. So you've got the claw pushing it, the grip into you, and you've got the pad pushing that the bottom of the pistol into you as well. So it's very good for concealment. It's very well made. I like it a lot. And like I said, this is the Singleton from Harry's Holster. And just, we're gonna, as an example, we're gonna use this Glock 19X. And by the way, all the pistols have been safety checked. So don't worry about that. So it's very nice. You're gonna hear the retention. Fits very nicely, very secure. You've got plenty of room for a red dot if you choose to use a pistol that has got a red dot mounted on it. Full trigger cover. But at the same time, you have plenty of room to get a firm grip on the pistol when you reach for it. So I like it a lot. This is the Singleton by Harry's Holsters. Put this aside. Oh, sorry about that. Let's go to the QVO Tactical. And QVO is out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He's got a really nice YouTube channel as well. And that's what is quick, violent, over. So Roger at QVO. And actually, Roger was the very first one, first one when I started the channel that reached out to me and said, hey man, I'd like to send you a holster and help out. I think I had about maybe 2.5 subscribers. So Roger was very nice. This one I did purchase myself and arrived a couple of days ago, and more like a week ago. And I ordered this for a pistol that I no longer have. This was for the Staccato C. And that's a, another story in another video, but it just wasn't for me. I had a really good offer on it and I sold it and this holster was still in the way. So I promised the new owner of the Staccato that I would give him this holster and was included in the package. So I'm going to deliver this to him now. So I don't have a pistol to show you, but I wanted to let show, the, show, show you the holster. It's very well made very solid kydex. I mean, you can tell the quality. All the edges are perfectly rounded. There's just no complaint. Now it's got the Louis Vuitton um, cover on top of the kydex, which is also well made. There are no wrinkles, no parts of it that are not glued perfectly well to the body of the kydex. It's got a nice clip. And as you can see here, it's also a tuckable holster. So when you have it inside of your pant, you can put your shirt in between here, and all that it will show is the belt. 
The only complaint that I have, and it's a minor one, but the only complaint that I have is with a claw. And the claw works the same as the Harry's holster that I mentioned to you when you put it inside of your pants. And this puts pressure on the belt and it keeps, it helps keep the grip of the pistol against your body. This one, obviously it's metal versus the singleton from Harry's holster, which is plastic and that's a nice touch. However, the edges are kind of sharp. So that's a detail that I, I, I hope that they fix in the future or pay a little bit more attention because this could have been sanded down a little bit more and not have it as sharp as it is. So that's the only thing that I don't like. The rest of the holster, it's got a Kydex clip and it is fully adjustable here. You can adjust the cant of the pistol to your likeness. And it is also the tension screws at the same time that are holding the, the claw together. So I like it a lot. I've used them basically since the beginning of the channel. Very nice, I like it. So that is the QVO holster. And let's see, which one are we gonna do next? This is one of my all time favorites. And this is by Phalanx Concealment. So ex-Special Forces guy, everything made in the United States. It's one, this, this is what I would consider the Rolls Royce of the holsters, at least from the ones that I know of. You can get all kinds of exteriors, you can get them with leather interiors, all kinds of colors. He makes them for a tremendous amount of pistols and the quality, you can just feel it is second to none. And I have this, again, for a pistol that I don't have anymore. This was for a Hellcat. The Hellcat is long gone, but I kept the holster. And I also have another Q, uh, Phalanx holster. And this he made for a light bearing holster. And this is for my Glock 19X or for a Glock 45. And, and this one was made to go, let's see, where's my Glock 19X? It's right here. And got a mess on my table here. I know that I had, here it is. So before people start screaming that, oh my gosh, you have a, an Olight, Bleh. yeah, but that's what I have. And that's what I have here. So this, this holster was made for the 19X or the 45 using this Olight. And again, carbon fiber exterior, fantastically well finished, well made. Metal clip, you can get it with his logo or without the logo. I'm sorry, Kydex clip. You can get it with the logo, without the logo. But very good retention. Again, room for a red dot if that's what you choose to do. Trigger fully covered and you got plenty of room for your hand. So it's another one of my favorites by Phalanx Concealment. The next one we're going to look at is by Vetter Holsters. That's them, VDDR. This holster I did not purchase. It was sent for me for test and evaluation. So thank you very much, Vetter. And I like it so far. The Kydex is very nicely done. This one is with carbon fiber. It doesn't seem as high quality of a Kydex as the one Phalanx is using. None, and it's also thinner, but nonetheless, it's been working very well. It's got an adjustable clip right here, as you can see, so you can adjust the canter of the pistol. And it is set up also with a wing, with a claw for appendix carry. It also has the space here where you can put your shirt in and tuck it in and thus concealing the holster itself. And the only thing, the beer belt would go right here. The only thing you would see over outside of your belt would be the clip right, that this part of the clip right here. So it's a tuckable holster and it just works really well. This one I've been using for the Glock 43X. And you can hear the retention is very good, very positive. Full coverage of the trigger guard on both sides. You can even have a little bit of details, right? You have a little bit of a relief here to make sure that the, the holster is not by accident going to depress your mag ejector right there. Your retention screw also holds the claw. Your tension screw it also holds the claw. And in case I wanted to use this in a Glock 48 or a Glock 43X with an MOS, it all works perfectly fine. So moving the pistol aside, this is by Vetter Holsters. 
again, one of my favorites. Next thing what we're going to look at is leather. And this is so far my favorite leather holster, my favorite leather holster maker. And this is by 1791 Gun Leather. And again, this was not sent to me. I purchased this, not even a discount, but I've heard so many things from 70, you know, by friends and other shooters that use them. Very rugged, horse hide. The stitching is impeccable. The quality of the leather is soft where it needs to be, but it's also very rigid where it needs to be. So it's not just a soft leather holster. It's actually a hard shell liner, completely covered with leather. I don't know that you can see it in there. Completely covered with leather. And it just holds its shape. It's not gonna go soft on you, protecting your pistol. But at the same time, when you wish to carry outside the, the, the waistband, or it's gonna fit and do, it, and do the job. This is something that I carry when I wanna carry nicer pistols or something that is just too large for me to carry inside of the waistband. This is a early Beretta 92, you saw a video on that, but it fits just as well with 1911s. Um, so anything I wanna carry outside the waistband or something that I wanna make sure it doesn't get scratched, 1791 gun leather, gun leather does a fantastic job with it. So that's it. These are the holster makers that I go to, my favorite ones. And I would really like to know, which ones do you like? What do you use? What are your go-to holsters? I'm trying to put these together again. It's not quite gonna work in here. But I wanted to do something a little bit different and also answer your questions when they come through. So we have 1791 Gun Leather, Harry's Holster Singleton, Phalanx Concealment Holsters, Vetter Holsters, and QVO Tactical. Those are my five go-to holsters, depending on the occasion, what I'm wearing, and the gun that is on me at the time. I look forward to hearing your thoughts. What do you think of my selection? What are, what are your go-to holsters and why? I would love to hear that in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember that I upload videos every Friday morning and when I can on Wednesdays as well. Now more than ever, please pray for our country. And until the next one. God bless.